about these two nations, the two star and leading nations in these scriptures, or in the world today. Look, the star nations in the world today, Esau and Jacob. Oh, y'all run around talking about, it's not a black and white issue. No, it's not a black and white issue. It's a nation issue. Because the Lord is dealing with nations. Alright? Read it. Six and six. six. Three, six and uh, eight again. Second Ezra, six and eight. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Come on. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. Come on. And Jacob is the beginning of that which followed. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So as we all know that there, they pull out these scriptures on the regular. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. We understand who the wicked is. But we also understand that Esau ain't the only wicked people. There's a whole heap of other nations that the Lord has said he's going to take them out. But they're evil. But what you need to understand is that when Esau's world is done, once America is destroyed, it's going to be the beginning of Jacob's. It's when, when the nation of Israel is going to rule in the earth. Because heaven's going to be right here on earth. Read it. Read down and down. Come on back to Romans. Romans 9 to 14. Come on. Romans 9 to 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. The Most High forbid, meaning no. Again, like I mentioned before, a lot of these people talk about. I can't worship no God like that. <laughs> like there's some kind of un unrighteousness with the most high. Give me the Ezekiel 32. Listen, the Lord is the creator of heaven and earth. Ain't no way possible we're going to question the authority of the most high. Ain't no way possible we're going to come up and try to condemn the counsel of the Lord. All right? Ezekiel 33, 17. Ezekiel 33, 17. Yet the children of the people, excuse me, yet the children of thy people say, the way of the Lord is not equal. That's what y'all saying today, man. It's not fair. That's not right. How you gonna believe in a God like that? Read it. Yet the children of thy people say, the way of the Lord is not equal. But as for them, their way is not equal. It's your way that's not equal. It's your way that's unbalanced. You want to be righteous when it's only feasible for you. That's unequal, man. That's an uneven balance. That's showing that you were just some type of deceit. Here it is. You want to question the Lord and, and, and His judgment? Read it. Ezekiel 33:18. When the righteous turneth from his righteousness, committed iniquity, he should surely die thereby. For all you Israelites that was with the fallen away, the 2,000 fallen away, that didn't maintain it. Now you see a few Israelites on YouTube. Now you want to come back out like you've still been down? Nah, man. The day that you turned from your righteousness, all of that was for forgotten. All of that was forgotten. Man. You got to start all over again. You got to humble up, skip all that garbage that you learned, Talk about no Gentiles can get saved. Talk about the women can't get saved. Talk about Cornelius was an Israelite. Nonsense. Skip all that garbage that you learned. Learn again. Re get retaught. Because you learned the wrong way. Read it. Ezekiel 33 19. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful, Come right, on. he shall surely live thereby. He shall surely live thereby. So we're not going to, anybody that's inquired of us, they might not see it right then and there, but they have the opportunity to come out of that wickedness. We're going to be patient with them and try to bring this word out in sincerity and in truth and make sure they get it. All right? That's what we're going to do if the Lord will. If the Lord will. Understand that. So if the man is coming out of evil, then he has, a, he has the opportunity to correct himself. Read that verse again. Ezekiel 33 and 19. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful, come on, poor, lawful, and right, 
he shall live thereby. He shall live thereby in the spirit of Christ. Because he turned from the evil ways. He said, hey, I'm not going to do that no more. I'm not going to be an adulterer or a liar or a fornicator or a thief. I'm leaving off them ways. Understand this, man. We're going to hold this Bible. We're going to shoot down all the liars, all you so-called YouTube preachers running around talking about you got the truth. Y'all the only one that can teach you the 100% truth. You need to adhere to the scriptures, man. With that, shalom.